All right, coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. Ready. She can box with anybody in the world, and she's showing that tonight. Well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants it. She said when and where she decides she was going to be able to secure takedown. She does exactly that very early in the first round. Oh, big punch land. Oh, Point execution on the hip toss there. She's able to take her down. Her opponent felt like she knew this attack would be coming. She couldn't stop it there. But she did not see the setup. She did not see her opponent push into her, inviting her to push back. The moment she pushed back, boom, time to go for a ride. Under Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability Going is Going for a submission. Attacking on bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Found the target with that left hand. 
Shevchenko's looking to go from the full to the half guard here, opponent not having it. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here, she's doing a nice job. Oh, and she's back up again. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without it. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Shevchenko gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Connects with a right. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Ready, ready, ready. All right, round two. Nice job by her to land the straight punch yet again. You know she's got the reach advantage, and she is making sure it counts in this matchup tonight. And they separate. All right, so she goes to the kick and promptly lands. Nicely done there. She has done that over and over again. Every time she throws it, it's land. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, nice job by her to land knee to the body. Her size advantage certainly helped on that exchange. Nice straight punch. Oh, and she lands another punch there. And now, at this point, you can see she is going. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground changes, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. That's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground. She's now trying to trap an arm. In attack an arm bar. Nicely done. Fighters get up now. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever. Here. Oh! She is such a oh. fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate, and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. You know how excited this makes me. We got a new UFC champion in the women's bantamweight division. A lot of history in this division, and she adds to it tonight. And this is a division that the belt can change hands. A lot of people have worn the UFC women's, women's bantamweight championship, and tonight she joins a list of some of the best women's fighters we've ever seen.
All right, coming up next, a welterweight title fight between Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Just missed with the left there. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. What a great takedown defense by Masvidal. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Big oh. knee lands there. Big knee to the body. Man. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge. Fantastic hey, takedown land. Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could... He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. This fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, man. Good stick to the body. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. For years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has a beautiful level change. He needs to take him. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. 
Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Covington. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Jorge. Game bread must be done. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. And he's out. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. 69 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. And in terms of the connection rate, if you care, 71% accuracy thus far against Colby Covington. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice punch there by Covington. Look at him drive his shin and turn the whole body with that body kick. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Covington. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is like, just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped and try to get the floor takedown, he evades and escape. He's a phenomenal fighter. All right, so the unofficial fight numbers thus far, 80 total strikes. Down the bar for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And connecting at a 68% clip thus far against Colby Covington. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Covington. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Covington. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so he postures up. Nicely done. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Covington. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He's having his way with him here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. And he landed the right hand there. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Let's go. Get him off. Get Back to the feet now. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. See him land 
the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Point over top. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He hasn't hurt. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Tries to mix in a takedown here. execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's react the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 24 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jorge Gabriel Mosquitoff. All right, so there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such, congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining this title. One of the best welterweight champions in UFC history. Championship of the world between Israel Adesanya and Paolo the Eraser Costa. inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. Well, he's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Costa gets caught with that punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He is throwing a fast, big, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice take out, man. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Side control now. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Costa. And back to his feet. Oh! Oh, straight right! So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. 
Pretty good right hand. Oh, spinning backfish. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, the last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Down into his mouth. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Close guard. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Israel Adesanya gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, side control now. Well, you know I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, nice job. Oh, man, that was slick. So 58 total strikes have landed for Israel out of science. Well, essentially landing two out of every three strike attempts, 66%. The accuracy rate against Paolo Costa. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Costa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these... Oh, the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. To stay in this fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and cruise you. Huge that elbow there. Shot. What a fantastic strike. Oh! this third round of this championship fight. Visibly limping here. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. Hey, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Oh, he's hurt back. Hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go take the oh, that man. Look at that one. Natural power and the power in the placement. It was 
placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's gotta feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning, defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.